Hello and good morning. Welcome to Funfold Friday. So this is where we get together and we create a funfold together. And then you have the opportunity to create your own version and post it over in the community group and be entered to win a prize. So just kind of a fun new thing that I'm uh, trying out um, because I love fun folds and I have so many cards that I want to show you guys and make with you and I I just I, I don't have enough time if I only do a Tuesday video so we thought I thought I'd start these um, fun fold Fridays so um, welcome to you guys as you come in this morning so last week was our first time doing this and I did this fold right here so it has a nice little flap there. You can go back and see the replay for that um, if you missed last week's video. So today we're going to be doing a different one and I'll, I'll, you will just jump right in. So I'm going to put my camera down and show you what we'll be using today. And then we'll take a look at the fun fold as well. So I'm going to be featuring the circle sayings dies. I'm sorry, the circle sayings bundle. So circle sayings, this is, I've been kind of featuring this all month long. It's part of my card club for June and I've been using it in Facebook live. So I thought, well, we'll just use it again today. And actually I'm going to use a stamp I haven't used yet out of this one. And it's the, the seashells right here. Um, so it comes with the two and three eighths inch circle punch. So we'll, we'll make use of that as well. Um, and then also the stylish shapes. Is that right? Yeah. Stylish shapes dies. We'll be using a couple of those and I'll be tying in the fresh as a daisy design of Sherry's paper. So let me just show you that. So I'll kind of spread these out here. So this really is great paper because it features all of the um, new in colors, but as well as some other um, new colors. So, all right, so here is our, ah, trying to get this. So we got all of these designs with the daisies and then we turn it over and you'll see you've got more of the kind of solid look. It looks like just kind of distressed painted, um, kind of look with the different colors. So it's a really fun paper pack. So I'm going to be featuring that um, paper as well. And our card today is going to be this one right here. So we're going to be using copper clay and crumb cake for our card today. So I'll put these things over here. We'll start with our paper. So we've got our copper clay, which is one of the new in colors. And then I thought it paired well with uh, crumb cake. This is the daisy paper. I love this side, by the way. So beautiful. But we're going to be using the back um, copper clay side. So I'm going to grab my trimmer and get all those papers here out of the way. So we'll start with a card base. And our card base measures in at five and a half by eight and a half. So just a half a piece of cardstock, and then we are going to score it twice. So first we're going to score it at four and a quarter, and then we're going to score it at two and an eighth. Okay, and we'll set that aside, and let's do a little bit of our cutting. So we'll start with our crumb cake. We're going to need two pieces of this. So we're going to start with one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So one and seven eighths here by five and a quarter. And then our other piece of crumb cake is going to need to be three by four. So let's see if we've got enough paper left here. I think we do. So three by four there we go so we'll leave that here and then the two copper clay pieces we need one is copper the copper clay cardstock 
and we're gonna do that here at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now remember, you can make your own version of the fun fold I'm showing you today and post it on the challenge post in the community group and you'll be entered to win a prize. So I just posted the winner of last week's challenge. Um, it was Carol Busby. And so she will be getting a pack of embellishments in the mail from me. So be sure that you post your card over there in the comments so that, um, yeah, you can be entered to win a prize. Okay, and our designer series paper is going to be three by four. So we'll do three there, and then three by four. Okay, I think that's enough cutting for this moment. All right, let's take our card base here. And we're gonna first fold it in half. And then we'll fold our front flap back on itself. Um, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our crumb cake here and we're gonna put that on the front panel. Now, a lot of times with cards, we like to use white or vanilla pieces for um, to write on, but we're actually going to use crumb cake because it is light enough for you to be able to still write your message on here. And that's why I chose to use crumb cake for the inside of my card. So that it ties in with the color scheme but also it's still right, light enough to be able to write um, a good message on. So we've just centered that here on the inside panel. So when we close it, we're gonna see here, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this one and we're going to position it here also centered on the front panel. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna completely cover that crumb cake. So it's not peeking out um, at all from you know from underneath the copper clay okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to put one strip of tape right here and then i'm actually going to put the rest of my tape right here because i know that my copper clay is longer than this crumb cake piece this piece right here so i can put my whole strip of tape the length of that copper clay and i know it's not going to be too long the length of that crumb cake, I apologize. I can put my tape, my line of tape that's right here, the same length as this piece of crumb cake. And I can guarantee that that's going to be hidden by this piece, okay? Because your other option would be to try to, to guess exactly where to put your second line of tape here. And you run the risk that it's gonna show some adhesive when you put it down. So this is just an easy way to put your adhesive on and know that it's going to be hidden behind your cardstock. So we'll put this here. And now I don't have to worry about there being any extra adhesive peeking out right here because I applied it right to the card base. Okay, so we'll take our piece of designer series paper and we'll stick that here on the front. Okay, and then I'm gonna set this aside for a moment. And we'll take a scrap of crumb cake and we'll take, I'm gonna need a little strip of this. We're just gonna cut a piece off here. There we go. So we're gonna take these two. So you just need a scrap of crumb cake and a scrap of copper clay. And we'll stick both of those right here. And for the copper clay, we're going to do the largest of these banner dies. And then this kind of second from smallest, I guess, this, this other kind of squatty one. So we're gonna put that on the crumb cake 
Oh, hopefully my, oh, this might be close. Let me make sure that I cut this long enough. Oh yes, that's gonna, that's actually like just perfect. Okay. So I just wanna make sure I just, I don't have any really room for error on that copper clay. So I gotta make sure that it doesn't move. So we'll just stick it here. And once those dies catch, then I can move my hand to the top to keep it from going anywhere. All right. Oh, I have a tickle in my nose, you guys. You know that feeling when you're going to sneeze, but it's not quite there yet? Okay. So move these out of the way. And we'll just take our two banner pieces out here. There we go. Um, and I'll just stick these back here on my magnet sheet so we don't lose them in the chaos that is my desk today. If you're sharing the same reels, your reels today. Um, okay, we need one more. Let's get another piece of crumb cake here because I gotta punch my circle. And then we can do all of the stamping. Okay, so we've got our circle and we've got our pieces here. So I'm gonna take the copper clay ink and we'll stamp our crumb cake banner with happy birthday. And then I'm gonna take the shells and we're gonna stamp that twice on our circle. So then we'll turn it around and we'll stamp it the other way, just like so. There we go. Okay, so we'll bring back our card front here and I'm just gonna tape this one flat. We'll uh, bring out the dimensionals here in just a moment. So we'll just center that here and then we'll tape down our copper clay banner right across the middle there. So even if you're stamping like mine, my two images, I got them a little bit close to each other, okay? So it doesn't matter because this is about to cover, cover it up. And nobody will ever know that those were a little bit overlapping. So for the other one, the other, our crumb cake banner, we will put some dimensionals on it. And we'll add that over top. And then I'm going to take some copper clay ribbon. And I'm also going to take, this is from the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. There's um, five different colors that you get and I'm taking crumb cake out of there, okay? So we're just gonna take, I'm gonna start by trimming this. It's a little bit, a little bit frayed here. There we go. And I'm just gonna fold this over, um, maybe about an inch, inch and a half long, something like that. Just fold it in half. And once again, I'll cut, cut an angle at the end. Okay, so I've got those two. Now, what I'm gonna do to help myself out a little bit here, because of my next step, I'm actually gonna take a glue dot just gonna peel it off of here. And I'm actually just gonna stick a glue dot right here, right in the middle of my fold. And we're just gonna stick that down, okay? Because it's gonna make my next step easier. And what I'm doing for the next step is I'm just gonna stick this baker's twine underneath here, and I'm gonna tie a knot. But this way I'm not trying to hold that closed at the same time that I'm tying the knot. So it just makes it a little bit simpler. So that glue dot is just kind of my cheater hold piece. I gotta move this over here. So that I can just, I'm just tying a basic knot. Let's see if I can hold this, there we go. Nothing fancy, just a knot. There we go. 
So now I'll cut this. I got, got it a little bit long on this side, but just cut that off here. And we'll take another glue dot on the back here. Right on the back, so it's over the crumb cake, um, over the crumb cake baker swine as well. We'll just add that there. Kind of ties in that color combination again. Okay, and then I'm going to use the solid gem embellishments. And there is copper clay in here. So it actually comes with di three different colors. So I'll show you a full pack. We've got lemon lolly, boho blue, and copper clay um, in your full pack. So these are just some pieces I have left over here. And you can see you've got three different sizes here. So I'm gonna take the largest size and I'm just gonna put a couple of these there. And then I'm gonna take the medium size and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, and so here we have our Z fold with the hidden message uh, panel on the inside. So there we go. We've got our fun fold for today. Okay, so what you can do is you can, if you need to watch the replay to get, to get the measurements again, um, you can do that. And then you can post your version over in the community group to be entered to win a prize. So I'm giving away embellishments every week. And um, yeah, just giving away fun prizes. So um, Patty, you're asking about turning my camera around. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, so my camera looks at me when I start a video and then I put it down to show the project, um, through the video. So, um, oh yeah, Jean's saying I do everything upside down. I don't know. I've just been crafting that way ever since I, for a few years now with Facebook lives. So I'm going to be switching to a new system later this fall and then I'll probably craft right side up, which might be weird for me at first. <laughs> So we'll see. I'm just used to crafting upside down for you guys. So, um, all right. Hopefully that answers everybody's questions. I'm glad you guys like the color combinations and the layouts. So be sure to post your version. You've got a week to do the card. I'll post the winner of this challenge next Friday um, when we do the next challenge. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And don't forget to encourage one another and build each other up. Have a great day.